other side of penalty for Stuttgart. Hello and welcome back to Addiction Football. I'm still in Stuttgart. Today I'm going to show you the quintessential VFB or VfB Stuttgart home match experience. At least so I thought. But once I left the house, my GoPro stopped working. Now I have to do everything on the iPhone unless I get this camera to work uh, on my way to the stadium. So let's see what happens. If we forget about the short period during World War II in which it was called Adolf Hitler Kampfbahn, VfB's home ground used to be called Neckarstadion due to its proximity to the Neckar River most of its existence until it was renamed Gottlieb Daimler Stadion in 1993, then Mercedes-Benz Arena and it's called MHP Arena since the beginning of this very season. The main stand is currently under construction and once completed the MHP Arena will provide space for 60,449 supporters. VfB had a shockingly good start to the season and are currently second in the Bundesliga. They won all of their last five matches and have scored 19 goals already. Only Leverkusen and Bayern have scored more with 20 goals each. Depending on today's result, and the result of the other games, there are several scenarios what the table could look like tonight. VfB Stuttgart or VfB in English is the club where I held a season ticket from 2003 till 2008 and if you know your Bundesliga history, that's right, I've witnessed Stuttgart lifting the trophy here when they won the league in, in 07 and then in 2008 I moved abroad and honestly I didn't miss much after. <laughs> Why am I calling it the quintessential Stuttgart experience? Because not only are they playing at home today against Wolfsburg, and I shouldn't wear green, but it's the only jacket I've got, but also today is the last weekend of the Volksfest, which is a smaller but better version of the Oktoberfest that they have in Munich. And I know I'm gonna get shit for that, but I don't care. <laughs> this scarf I'm wearing today is one of my old collection. I bought this in 2003 in front of Ibrox Stadium when Stuttgart has been qualified for the Champions League for the first time with Rangers, Man United and Panathinaikos. One thing I really hate about Germany is that you can still smoke in most bars, so I usually buy my beer and I get the hell out of here. I got no idea what any of this is. None of this was here when I moved away 15 years ago. So today's food is some kind of meatloaf in a roll, which is also a local specialty. They also have it in Bavaria. Honestly, I don't know where it originates. So this is my first time here as, as a fan in, in a long time. My last game as a supporter here was against Young Boys Bern, which I believe was in like 2010 or 2011. I was only on this side of the stadium like once in, I guess, 1998 just a couple of weeks before Stuttgart played Chelsea in the Cup Winners' Cup final and lost 1-0 thanks to a goal of fucking Gianfranco Sola. <laughs> so, yeah, 
It's 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 been a while. So if you've seen my kickers video on Wednesday, they had this thing where you can donate your your beer cup, which carries a like a, a two euro deposit in order to finance the next TIFO. A bit of history, pretty much exactly 20 years ago, Celtic played here against Stuttgart. And if I recall correctly, Stuttgart won 3-2, but got knocked out nevertheless because Celtic won because of the aggregate score and the Scots they just didn't give a shit they just threw their beer cans away at uh, their, their beer cups and there were two or three of the guys who realized what's actually happening and so they collected all the beer cups in the whole blog and they financed their whole trip with it Decided penalty for Stuttgart. Now this might change every fucking thing.
train station I suddenly run into a dude I haven't seen in like 15 years. Wow. <laughs> Cheers. All right, party people, here's the verdict. Point one, I never ever thought that one day I would be coming back to Stuttgart with both local teams sitting on top of the table. On Wednesday, kickers climbed back on top of the Regionalliga and today VfB went on top of the Bundesliga at least till tomorrow. Point two, Jurasi, 13 goals in seven matches. Now that is a bloody record. Nobody has ever done that before him in the Bundesliga. And he's got a clause in his contract that could see him leave for like 20 million next summer. If they sell them in the winter break, however, the club could earn a lot more. So I guess they will have to decide um, what's more important. A couple of millions more or possibly even playing for the Bundesliga title this year. Because not only have Bayern been pretty weak this season so far, but also nobody wants to see them win it for a 12th consecutive season. And last but not least, I really want to say some shit like smash the like button. And if this video gets 500 views, I'm going to come back here one day, blah, blah, blah. But what I'm going to say instead is if this video gets a thousand likes, I'll come back to the MHP arena on the last match day of this season. And let's just see what Stuttgart can do this season. So let's go. Please hit like and subscribe and share this video if you liked it, if you're a Stuttgart supporter. And I'll see you very shortly on the next one.